Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to send self-destructing notes and pictures so that your personal business doesn't get spread all over the internet. This is an app that Jennifer Lawrence probably wishes she had known about because it keeps people from resharing the files that you send them. The service is called Destructs and is available for both Android and iOS, so that's about 99% of the population right there. You can download the app for free on Google Play or iTunes, so search by name to get it installed and we'll check out the setup process. Now first up, you'll need to create an account. You can sign in with your Facebook credentials or you can use your email address. If you want to go with the second option, just tap the Register Today link. From here, you'll need to provide an email address and come up with a secure password that uses upper and lower case letters as well as numbers or special characters. I'll do all that off screen and get right back with you. Now when you're done with that, go ahead and read the overview and tap OK Got It. From here you have two options. You can either share a note or share a file. I'll hit the File button. Mine has two different options from here, and I'm not exactly sure how iOS devices would handle this part, but I'm going to tap Documents to share an existing file. From here you can either send this to someone's email address, or you can even share a link with someone on Facebook. I'll just send myself an email link to test it out, then tap the Next button. Now this is where it starts getting cool. Basically you get a slider to set how long the file is accessible to the other person. You also get this button right here that lets you blur the preview image that the other person will see. They'll be able to unblur portions of the photo by holding their finger in a spot, so that's cool. Beyond that, you can disallow forwarding, and you can even type out a little description for the photo. Then you can adjust the hours and the minutes that the file will be viewable, but I'll go ahead and tap Send now. At this point, the file will be uploaded to the Destruct servers, where it will be stored for only how long you made it available, and it will be encrypted. On the other end, the recipient will get an email or a Facebook notification with a link to view your file. It won't let them view the photo directly though, since they could use a browser extension to download it, or they could at least get a screenshot. Instead it takes them to the Destructs install page for their device's respective app store. Then once they have the app installed, they can view the file. But restrictions in the app prevent them from being able to download the file or even take a screenshot. Let me show you how it looks on the other device. Now over here, I got the email link and installed Destructs on this device, and now I can see the photo. Remember, I put the blur on there, so you can't even see the entire image at once. You can swipe around to view different parts of the image though. And then this timer down here shows how long I can continue to view this file. And the sending device even gets a notification that I have viewed it. So in the end, it's a great way to share photos and notes without worrying about them getting reshared elsewhere. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!